Okay, so what we have here is a database question where we've got uh, records which go across like this. This is a record, this is a record. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six records. We have one field, two fields, three fields, four fields, five fields, six fields. So we've got six fields and we've got, as we said, six records records go across fields go down so this is if I change the color one field so if I was to say to you what is contained in the second record you would say to me for laptop Chantal law a date price of purchase and yes each record has a different so each field has a different data type so you know in programming data types string integers char boolean well databases have the same but instead of string they have text so well let's just get rid of this so device type uses the text data type device ID doesn't use integers as it would be in programming it uses numbers so these are the number data type so this one is it text or numbers that should be easy it uses the text data type this one is different it's not text and it's not numbers it's actually date slash time data type so it automatically turns whatever you type in there into a date we have this field here which is not numbers and the reason why we know it's not numbers because it's got a decimal point in programming what do we call the data type which has a decimal point we call that a real number but these aren't called real numbers these are called currency as in money currency so we've got number we've got text we've got text we've got the date time we've got currency and this is simply either yes or no i.e. boolean true or false yes or no so there are different data types we then have something called a primary key field and that basically means, if I just undo all of this, a field to make sure that the record can be unique. So, for example, what would happen if Answales brought two desktops, imagine that's a desktop, on the same date of, so it's the 14th of the 2nd, 2017, and he brought it for another one for one three five zero and it was a portable desktop imagine we didn't have this field here device ID and I said to you okay our customer Alan Swells I would like to know about the two different devices he's brought which ones are they What's the name of a desktop? Is it a Dell? Is it a Mac? Based on this data we've got in front of us, we don't know. We can see that Alan Swells here and here brought a laptop on the same day for the same price. Sorry, desktop, sorry. For the same day, the same price, the same type, a desktop, two desktops, and they're both portable. They're the same. There's no way for us to distinguish any difference between this record Mm -hmm. 
and this record. There's no unique data because we've got Alan Swirls buying a desktop here, but this person's also bought a desktop. Therefore, this field cannot be a primary key because there's nothing unique in there. User, we've got two Alan Swirls. The moment we've got two or something, it can't be the primary key. So that is no the primary key. Do we have two dates which could potentially be the same? Well, based on this, no, but could there be a an opportunity that a customer buys or two different customers buy something on the same day. So someone comes into my shop, they buy something, someone else comes in an hour later and buy something. Yes, there is that opportunity. So that can't be a primary key. Could someone buy something for the same price? Yes, we've seen it here, 1,000, 1,000. Can't be primary key. This one can't be a primary key because we've got N and Y it could be repeated. So this field here is the primary key field. It contains a unique number for each transaction. 